Say it with your chest. Do do doom 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 doom. Have you got something to say? I do not have all day, so say it with your chest. With your chest. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel, my people. I bring you juicy gist today, oh, as usual, eh? I bring them as usual as usual. Hmm. So I'm going to start first with the Big Brother Nigeria reunion show. You see. There was a very big back and forth argument between Tacha and Kimopra. Guys, there was just so much argument between them and Tacha was denying all of them, you know. She was denying all of the allegations. Guys, when I watched that that particular video, I was just vexed. I was like, ah, Tacha, why, why? Even I understand that you don't want to talk about this, or at least just, you know, own up to it and apologize and let us move on, you know. But Tacha just claims that she does not understand what Kimopra was talking about. Guys... I was really vexed at Tacha, but you know, when I, after the, watching the whole episode, when I relaxed and I, you know, looked at Tacha's face, looked at her previous videos, the love came back to my heart. I said, ah, this babe, this babe. Anyways, I understand why Tacha did not want to talk about, you know, did not want to talk about the whole thing. I believe that Tacha knows what she has done, but she doesn't want to talk about it yet. And I believe that she might talk about it later on in this reunion video. So guys, before I proceed with this juicy gist, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing by smashing on the red subscription button to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video please make sure you smash on the like button as well here we share juicy entertainment trending stories so my people you see i now understood the reason why um kimopra's face was vague why she was giving a funny expression on her face after tacha publicly apologized to everyone in the house because Kimopra during that video she was not still pleased with Tacha because of something that was biting her in her heart thank god she talked about it too Kimopra told us about what happened after the Big Brother Ninja reunion show you've admitted it you cannot do something to someone and claim to have amnesia because it's convenient for you. True. So please do see someone because maybe you actually had amnesia at that point in time. Get the proof that we can talk. Kimopra said that Tacha made her feel intimidated, Tacha bullied her and kept her in an unsafe space. That she felt that Tacha would come to her hotel room to beat her up, you know. But my people, I know you'll be asking that, ah, what has warranted all of this? She further said that Tacha was with her phone. She was recording her with her phone and claiming and shouting and screaming at her, telling her that her confidence got her all of her fame. Her confidence got her a fan. Her confidence got her the bands that she's driving. That what does Kimopra as, you know, she was screaming and shouting at her like that. And that was why she was, you know, intimidated. She felt bullied, you know. So Kimopra was explaining her displeasures and everything that um, Tacha did with her that she was not cool with. So Ebuka now said, Tacha, oh yeah, I'll respond to this allegation. So because this allegation is too plenty, it's too deep, it's too full ground. <laughs> Tacha said, Ah, see, I don't understand what Kimopra is saying. I don't understand it at all. All I know is my confidence. People feel intimidated by my confidence. <laughs> Ebuka said, Ah. My very own Tacha, my dear Tacha, you did not eat the nail on the head. You did not eat the hammer on the head. We are talking about allegations, not confidence. Please respond to what Kimopra um, said against you. Hmm. Tacha insisted though. Tacha said, no, I don't understand. I cannot even remember what Kimopra is saying. Except if Kimopra can bring out an evidence, a video or any receipt to back up her claims. Then I can talk about it. But right now, I don't remember. Do you get? Ah, Kimopra said, ah, no, I have witnesses. I have witnesses. Even Esther and Amashola can testify to it. Huh. Now, so Esther talked about her own side of the story. Oh, Esther was, you know, she was not siding Kimopra. She was not siding Tacha. She just explained it the way she saw it. She said she saw Tacha pull up in her Ben's car, 
take out um take out her phone you know then started to video um started to point her phone towards um kimopra she said she was not sure if the phone was recording kimopra or not but you know Tacha was really shouting and screaming at Kimopra. Omashola too said his own. Omashola said, mm, to me, oh, Tacha was recording um, Kimopra. Tacha was recording Kimopra. Yes. So, you know, Omashola too also explained his part of the story that he was trying to settle the whole matter because Kimopra was really mad at Tacha. Tacha was also really mad at Kimopra. You know, he was trying to settle the Wahala. I said the Wahala plenty, but our very own Tacha said, I don't understand. I don't remember. <laughs> Tacha claims that she did not remember any of what they were saying. Omar Shola was shocked. You know, Esther was shocked as well. Mercy was also shocked as well. Mercy now said, okay, I am going to talk because I don't want to put my mouth in what I'm not supposed to put my mouth in. But if we are trying to move ahead, if this is called the reunion. We have to own up to our SHIT. We have to own up to it because we cannot just continue to go round and round the clock without owning up to whatever thing we have done. Then Mercy said that she saw the video. She said she saw the video and that she was there. She was not there when all those things happened, but she saw the video and she was with Kimopra and Esther, you know, Kimopra was ranting about all what um, Tacha had done. So, you know, um, 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 Mercy was trying to explain everything to um, the audience and to Ibuka. <clears throat> but our very own Tacha was still insisting. Ah, God. Gosh, guys, I was vexed at how Tacha was just insisting on this. I believe that the videos of what Kimopra was talking about will still surface the internet very soon or oh, yeah but guys I know that some th somebody that has gone through intimidation you know somebody that has gone through intimidation and bully from an housemate cannot forget the pain Kimopra is talking from a point of pain you can see it in her body she went through that situation she was not forming anything you know i went on twitter and a lot of tacha titans were condemning kimopra they were saying that kimopra was ganging up with esther and omashola to defame tacha to bring tacha down that did not make any sense to me seriously guys anyone can make mistakes anyone can do wrong Tacha is not bigger than doing wrong. She also has a good side and a bad side. Sides. I believe that Tacha Titans should understand this and not backlash Kimopra just to make Tacha feel good. Or some um, Kimopra fans backlashing Tacha just to make Kimopra feel good. It doesn't make any sense to me, guys. And you see, I believe that Tacha is intentionally selecting her memory, selecting what to talk about. Because she doesn't want to own up to it yet. And she doesn't want to apologize to it yet. I believe that Tacha wants to be in her space. You know, she wants to be in her space. Then think over it before coming over before coming to apologize to Kimopra. i believe she will still apologize to Kimopra. i believe that the both of them will still come together all things out and everyone everything will die down yes guys i believe that so my people i want to hear your opinions on this matter please kindly comment your opinions in the comment section below now moving on to my next juicy gist of today i'm going to be talking about fire boy yes so uh if you don't know about fire boy oh my goodness you are missing out a big deal yes you are missing out fireboy is a talented nigerian artist and he's the one that sang the popular song jealous yes that song is a banger yes so fireboy is was currently trending on twitter because he was ailing and giving respect to his manager he was giving respect to olamide you know our nigerian rapper yes so our nigerian um yoruba slash native rapper yes olamide so he was giving toilet to olamide you know during an interview he talked about how olamide motivates him how olamide constantly watches him helps him you know 
he talked deeply about how Olamide made him feel so comfortable, showed him the business sides of, of, of being a musician. You know, wow, he really said a whole lot about Olamide. He said Olamide is not just a brother to him, he's a business partner, he's a father figure, he's a, he's a CEO, he's everything to him. And it made a lot of sense, guys. And this made um, Fireboy to constant um, to continuously trend on Twitter. So guys, this brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and smash on the red subscription button to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash on the like button as well.